Okay, our wall ball is a fantastic conditioning tool that we would use here. It's a great way of taxing the lower body with our legs. It forces your trunk stability by holding the ball in a good position, and it works your shoulders then by tossing the ball to whatever point you're going for. You can increase the intensity of this by adding on a heavy weight up as far as maybe 20, 30 pounds, uh, or you can go nice and light and bring and reduce these balls down to two or three kilos. So you could use it as a nearly a strength component for some people, and you can use it really as an efficiency and aerobic capacity for others. Um, the main things we're going to look for here is, is making sure you've got a good squat stance. So no matter how you squat or if you wall ball, your feet should be underneath your hips. Okay? With the likes of the wall ball then, we generally want to have a good distance out from the wall. So normally what I would say is a standing reach, arms out in front, allowing that ball to drop back into your hands. Okay, you're going to choose your target and we're looking to stay nice and tall. So without the ball first, elbow position underneath okay because what you're trying to do is push that energy up the way so if your elbows are out to the side and your hands are pressurizing in here it's not as efficient so i would say elbows in and all of that energy going towards your target so with that ball now in and in close to the body for every inch that ball is away from your center of mass the diff more difficult you're going to find it when you're starting off with this movement i would say do one rep at a time so a pause in between Squat down, crease the hip below the knee, shoot up, catch it, and bring it back into the chest. Keep your chest nice and tall, crease the hip, which is here, below the knee, and then shoot, okay? Do not shoot the arms before you've fully extended the legs. So you don't want to shoot any early. Come up and extend, and then let all that energy target. Down, up. As you get more efficient, you can use the energy from the bottom of that squat, transitioning into your wall ball target. What I would say with breathing, if you're doing high volume with this, you can cycle your breathing. Breathe in as you're going down into the squat, exhale, breathe out as the effort is placed upon you to shoot to your target and try and sink that in as your reps. So you're keeping your heart rate down as low as you can, allowing you to go for longer when you're doing this as a conditioning piece. Hope you enjoyed that. Again, if you find this of value to someone who struggles with their wobbles, maybe send it on to them, maybe help your, your mate out.